we have to solve the equation 1 over x plus 2 over 3x equals to 1 over 3. Now, how can we do this? Now, as it is, there are some things that we have to understand under fraction. Now, when two or more fractions are separated by plus or minus, what we do is to find the LCM. You have 1 over 2 plus 2 over 5. Now, they are separated by plus or minus. What you do is to find the LCM. 2 times 5 will give us 10. And when two or more fractions are separated by multiplication sign or division sign, what you do is to multiply and divide. For example, you have 1 over 2 times 2 over 5. So what, what we do here is to divide and multiply. And the last one is when two fractions are separated by equal to sign, you have 1 over 2 equals to x over 3. Now, what we do here is to cross multiply. So these are the three sets that we have. We have more, but these are the major ones that we are always seeing. Now, from what I've explained, how can we now solve this? You will realize that there are three fractions here. One, two, three. And the first two are separated by addition. And the, and the two are separated by equal to sign. Now, you can use two methods. You can either multiply through by the LCM or you just find the LCM of these two, which is 3x. Now, x we cancel x, meaning 3. We have 3 plus. 3x cancel 3x, we have 2, equals to 1 over 3. So, we now have 5 over 3x equals to 1 over 3. Now, two fractions separated by an equal sign, what we do is to cross multiply. So, 3x times 4 will give us 3x, and 3 times 5 will give us 15. And from here, to get our x, what we do is to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3. So, 3 plus 3, 3 here is 1, 3 here is 5. So, therefore, our x equals to 5. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and follow. Bye-bye.